Hey gang, it's Maud here again and welcome to your gratitude-led yoga practice. So this practice is best taken during those times where you kind of have a hard time feeling grateful or that you're maybe going through something and it's just hard for you to put your heart in a more grateful place, in a thankful place. And it's just good to come back into that space and that mentality and attitude of gratitude where you start to think about the things that are working for you, the blessings that you have in your life, the things that you may not be thinking about every day, but it's good for you to come back and really recognize the blessings, the abundance that you have that you normally would not because you may be caught up with something else that's not quite working or something else that you're still struggling with. And so whether you're taking this during the Thanksgiving season or just on a normal day where you feel to feel the need to be reminded of what are the things that are worth being grateful for, this is the practice for you. And so when I want to focus on something, I kind of want a totem in front of me. So I have a point of focus. I have sort of a reminder of what I'm here for. And so if today gratitude is the biggest focus for us, then I would recommend you grab a totem. In my case, it's a candle and you already see that, uh, you can see that it's already lit. Um, so I'm going to put it in front of me to remind me what exactly this practice is for. And so if that works for you, hit the pause button, grab your totem, grab your candle, whatever it is. And so I'm going to slide it over away from your view. And so anytime I feel like I need to land on exactly my purpose here today, that candle is going to help me. So hopefully you have your totem. And if you don't, then that's completely fine as well. And I respect that as well. Let us start our practice with our legs crossed right here. And if you want to place a blanket underneath your bums, that's fine. Or you can even sit in hero pose with a yoga block underneath your bums. And you can just sort of clip that block between your ankles. Whatever seated pose works for you, grab a pillow, grab a blanket, something that just lifts your hips above your heels. And then we'll start here being mindful already of how we are landing. And so you can start to close the eyes or you can start to just keep your gaze low or you can also look at your totem. Relaxing your shoulders any amount, lengthening the spine the best you can. And without huge expectations, really. I want you to think of all the things in your life that make you happy. Everything in your life that makes you retain and maintain a positive attitude, a positive energy. Or anything in your life that you can associate with the word good. And start to create some words in your head and do a direct association of those words to the totem. So when you see that totem, when you see that flame, when you see that object, you are brought into a space of goodness, of happiness and gratitude. And spend a few moments there. Sometimes that exercise is a struggle for me. Sometimes it's a mental struggle. Sometimes it can be an emotional struggle. But let's take a few moments here. And you can always hit the pause button if you are kind of needing more time to do that. Otherwise, let's place our left hand on our heart and our right hand in front of our bellies. The feeling of gratitude, that feeling of happiness and positivity. Let's make that and turn that into a physical experience. So right now with your hands on your shirt, on your belly, 
feel a tangible connection with the energy that you just created and built into your physical body. So feel your skin absorb that energy. And it just seeps deeper into your muscles, into the structures inside the body. And you just let it feel good. Deep breath, inhale. With a hint of a smile, exhale. A few more times just like that. Inhale in. Exhale out. Inhale in. Feel the expansion of your rib cage, front, side, and back, not just the belly and not just the chest. And as you exhale, come back to home base. And the feeling of gratitude, the attitude of gratitude, that is your home base for today. Starting here, centered for a few more breaths. Whenever you're ready, after your last exhale, you can blink your eyes open. You can slide your left hand towards your right shoulder, your right hand, place it on top of your left shoulder. And let's just do some nice rounding in the torso, lifting in the heart. And you can even sort of feel some side crunches happening. But basically, just coming down, maybe side bending a little bit, crunching over, side bending on the other side, and then lifting. So you're kind of making a circle. Make sure that the elbows are just along for the ride. And perhaps let the belly initiate this action. And let's do one more circle this direction and then let's reverse. I believe we did a good amount of six perhaps. So moving slow right here is great. I want you to feel all the feelings and I don't mean to be over dramatic about it, but this expression of like hugging ourselves and embracing ourselves and just coming back to all the good that is working for us. That's like our magic medicine for today. Now let's switch the hand. So just keep the left hand where it is, insert the right hand underneath it. So it's a different energy. Send your elbows down. And all we're gonna do is just twist our body left and right. It's not going to be super huge movements because the arms are there. They basically create a certain level of constraint, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Inhaling and exhaling. Beautiful. And come back to center. Release your hands and your arms. You can shake it if you want. Let's give attention to the shoulders and the neck. And so inhale, just lift your shoulders up towards the ears. And as you exhale, <sighs> let go of anything heavy. Inhale up. Up, 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 up. Feel the compression. Exhale, <sighs> feel the release. One more time. Inhale, rise. And then exhale. <sighs> Slowly release. Drop your chin towards your chest, keeping your spine long. And then slowly send your right ear towards your right shoulder. I am mirroring you, mirroring you right now. Lengthen the left hand behind you and turn your left arm inward and just feel the stretch like the crown of your head away from your fingers. Inhale here. Exhale. And then slowly come back to center. Once again, tuck your chin towards your chest. Spine is long. And then send your left ear towards your left shoulder. Ooh, I feel that nice stretch. Do not overstretch. Try not to overtax the neck, but do enough to feel enough. Lengthen your right arm to the side. 
inwardly rotate it. And then imagine you could send your crown, the crown of your head away and farther away from your fingers. Breathing in. And breathing out. And again, if you always get lost in the movement, look at your totem, look at your candle, and come back to home base. Come back to your words. And land on that energy. Slowly come to center. Interlace your fingers behind you. You can release the thumbs towards the back of the neck. Opening up the elbows. Open the chest in gratitude. Send your ribs in, though. Keeping and containing that fire that you have. And on the next hill, we're going to bend towards the left side. I am mirroring you once again. Inhale, center. Bending towards the right. Imagine you could lengthen the skin on that waistline. Just sending... The elbows up, teeter tottering here, about one more time on each side. And come back to center, keeping the fingers where they are. Just lift your head up and have a really strong grip so that your head can just hang in your hands. And here, bask yourself in gratitude. Like just remember the things that are working for you. And it could be the small things. You could be thankful for your animals at home. It, you could be thankful for having a best friend at work. Or maybe you went through a life event that really unraveled the strong side of you or the badass side of you. And just be thankful that you had that experience and you were able to turn over a new leaf. One more breath, inhale. And then exhale. Slowly release the hands. Nice job, you guys. Just take some freeform shoulder rolls right here. Just up, back, and down. And you can just let the fingers dangle on the sides of the body and perhaps glazing your thighs, whatever feels good. Taking any chance you can to look at your totem or to look at your candle. Again, landing on that energy of gratitude just to remind ourselves what we are here for. And what energy sort of dominates this practice? Come back to center. Remove the block out of the way or come out of your seated position. And then come into hands and knees or quadruped. Make sure that the hands are underneath the shoulders and the hips are really underneath the knees. And tiny zip in the belly right here. And we'll just start by sending our hips left and right, just kind of in this line, just loosening up the lower back. couple more times on each side. And then the movement gets a little bit bigger so that the feet stay down, but then you lift your right knee up. And then you teeter to the right, you lift your left knee up. But keeping the feet down. Feels good on the lower back. So just a little teeny tiny sensation in the groin and the inside of the thighs. And then perhaps the movement gets bigger so that you end up lifting your knee and your feet. And you don't have to be too ambitious here, too competitive. All we're doing is just lifting the leg. Don't even think about getting that 90 degree angle. Just lift it up. Just see how the body feels. One more time on each side, left and right. Nice job. All right. Keep your hands right here. Let's articulate the spine, shall we? Inhale, dropping your belly, lifting your tailbone. Open chest and then lift your head. And this time we're going to start from the bottom. So tuck your tailbone under, round the belly, round the chest, and then your head drops. Really puff up that middle back. This time, tilt your pelvis over, dropping the belly, open the chest, lifting your head. Breathe in any way that feels comfortable. Tuck tailbone, round the belly, concave your chest, drop your head. And see that top to bottom, bottom to top relationship here. And see how that works for you. And sort of finding the sequence in the movements without overthinking it. So definitely letting the feeling of this articulation in the spine feel good to you. And the only words I want you to say is, thank you, body. Thank you for being able to make this connection. Thank you for being able to make this movement. 
a lot of people cannot do this or find it hard to do this for whatever reason. And so we always just come back into a place of, oh my God, I am so lucky, even with the simplest things. One more time. Then end by rounding it out. Nice job. All right, walk your hands towards your knees. Keep your toes untucked. And then plant your hands on your, sorry, plant your left hand on your left heel. And all you're going to do is just to lift your right arm up without lifting the hips up. Lead with your heart. Looking up towards the ceiling if that's comfortable with your neck. Exhale, right hand on your right heel or right foot. Inhale the left arm up. Taking a pause right here. Make this a symbolic movement of being thankful to somebody, something up there that's looking down on you. And somehow it's like your guardian angel making things work for you when you need them. One more time, left side. Lifting right arm up. If you wish to do so, you can always lift the hips up by squeezing the glutes and turning this into a half camel. Otherwise, stay where you are. Share a word of gratitude to something that is above you, beyond you. Slowly lower. Right hand on your heel. Left arm up. Just remember, you can stay right here if this already feels good to you. Or you can engage your glutes, lift your hips up. Share a word of gratitude. And then slowly lower. Crawl your hands forward, come back into that quadruped. And this time, since we kind of had a snippet of it, let's do some nice rotations on that hip. Let's start with the right side and do about three circles on each side. And even though it looks like your knees are making the circle, let the energy initiate from your hip joint so it feels heavy and sticky. You kind of create your own resistance. Just three in one direction, that's all good. Again, grateful that your body can do this. And then send your right leg back. Shut the door behind you, point your toes down. Now zip up your belly, lift away from the floor a little bit, and then lift your left arm up. On an exhale, send your elbows and your knees in underneath the body, curl the spine. Inhale, lengthen out. Expand your reach, exhale, come to center. One more time, inhale, reach up. Keep the left arm lifted, plant the right foot down, and then push your heel back. You can look forward if that feels good to your neck. You can also keep looking down towards your mat, but reach your left arm down, I mean forward. Deep breath in, try to keep that chest open. A little bit of challenge, keeping that left arm lifted, shift forward, lift the right leg up, bend that leg, and perhaps the left hand reaches over towards your right foot. Slight engagement in the glutes there. Kick the right foot towards the left hand to encourage your left shoulder to open up. Lift away from the mat, engage those glutes, inhale. Thank you, thank you, thank you, body, for being able to do this. And then exhale, release the foot, re listen to my voice, plant the left hand down. And without using momentum, send your right foot outside the right hand. Slide your left knee back. So you're kind of in this open lunge. And then squeezing the glutes, tucking your tailbone under. Find this nice stretch in the front of the left hip, but also a bit of sensation on that right groin and right inner thigh. Deep breaths. Nice job. Okay, keep your left hand down. Send your right hand behind you, and then inhale, twist up towards your right. And then exhale like you want your right elbow to touch your left elbow, even though it won't. Or maybe it can. Totally... Um, up to the body. It's all an individual experience. Inhale to open. Exhale to tap and close. About two more times. Inhale. Lead with gratitude. So please just 
bask in this space of thank you body, thank you that I can do this, thank you that I can lift my arms and my elbows. Inhale, exhale. Beautiful. Open up the body, inhale here. Lift that right arm up. Uh, deep breath in. And then exhale, drop the right hand down. Come back into your quadruped. Take a couple of rounds of cat-cow. So inhale, maybe revisiting that top to bottom, bottom to top experience that you had. It's kind of like how it is in life, right? How we are in life. Sometimes we're at the top. Sometimes we feel like we're at the bottom. Either way, we still need to be just as grateful. And I know it's hard sometimes. Especially when you're down. And slowly come back to center. Let's revisit those hip rotations, but this time we're going to be doing them on the left side. Again, you can lift your left knee up, but let the energy initiate on that left hip joint. And we're just going to do three circles in one direction. It doesn't matter if you started clockwise or counterclockwise. Create your own resistance here. Create your own heaviness in that leg. Or perhaps think of it like a log. <laughs> so it's heavy. One more circle. And then lengthen the left leg back. Zip up your belly. Push the floor away. Lengthen your right um, arm forward. Squeezing in that left glute. Exhale. Elbow and knee come in. Underneath the body around the spine. Inhale, expand forward and back. Push the floor away, zip that belly. Exhale, slowly round. Inhale one more time, reach out. Keeping the right arm lifted, plant the left foot down. And then exhale, push the hip back. Deep breaths in. Do your best not to dump in that left shoulder. So keep lifting away from the mat. Zip up your belly. One more breath. And keeping the right arm lifted, shift forward. Lift the left knee up. Sorry, left leg up. Bend it. And then perhaps the right hand can reach towards the left foot. You can look forward, engaging the glutes, opening the chest, and even engaging the shoulder blade muscles in the back. And then kick that left foot towards the right hand, encouraging the right shoulder to open up. Try not to hold the breath. If you need to look at your totem, even as a challenge, or just to remind you of the energy here, then do it. Big inhale. All right, get ready to float. Release that foot. You can plant your right hand down, but then send the left foot outside the left hand with control, and then slide your right knee back. Hands are underneath your chest right now. You can tuck the toes in the back, waking up the glutes, allowing some opening to happen in the front of the right hip, and also some sensation in that left groin, left inner thigh. And then send your left hand behind the head. Inhale, open up the elbow to the left. Again, same attitude. Lifting up, offering this practice to something or someone who's been looking down on you, probably your guardian angel up there somewhere. And then exhales, tap the elbows towards each other. Left elbow to the right on this side. Inhale, open. Exhale, slowly tap. About two more times. Grateful that the body can expand. Grateful that the body can compress. Grateful that we can inhale. Grateful that we can exhale. And then slowly drop your left hand down. And then send your left knee back. Find a nice child's pose. Opening up the knees, toes come towards each other. And then just plant your elbows down and your forearms and take a pause right here. Deep breaths. Then exhale. 
Slowly slide your hands underneath the shoulders. Lift the upper body up. Now walk your hands towards your body. You can tuck the toes behind you. And then have this nice little balancing practice right here. It's a very <laughs> big ankle engagement that's happening right here. And so you can put your hands on yoga blocks if you have them. You can even put your hands down on the floor if you have them. Or if you, <laughs> you can even put your hands on the floor if you want to. Or you can put your hands on the thighs or you can even float them towards your heart. So this here, this balancing act that we're doing, you know, testing our focus, testing our balance, testing our fire to keep us right here, keep us balanced and to keep us sort of grounded. This is really like life, right? Like whatever's happening, whatever the weather is in our life, whether it's we're going through a stormy period or it's a bright sunny day, the attitude of gratitude is just like that magic pill that reminds us to stay humble and grateful for everything that's happening for us and for everything that's surrounding us that we may not even take a second or a minute to be grateful for. Inhale here. Nice job. However that looked like, let it go. Plant the hands down and then come into a dangle. So feet underneath the hips, softening at the knees and just drop your upper body down. You can even grab elbow to elbow in this dangle. Swaying left and right. Inhale. Exhale. And stop in the middle. You can slowly uncurl the spine, but stop halfway. Bend your legs, poke your hips to the back, and let your fingers face each other. We're going to do the same rounds of cat-cow and having that top-to-bottom, bottom-to-top sequence, but here on our feet. So inhale, let's start here with our tailbone to the back, arching the spine, heart forward, and then lifting your head. And then slowly, now the head is going to initiate the shoulders round and then the belly and then the tailbone. And then starting to make our way back up, tailbone, belly chest and head and then round it up and if sequence doesn't work for you here just do whatever you can to articulate the spine flexing and extending and then just do that one more time Whether you started bottom to top, top to bottom, or the other way around, it doesn't matter. Nice job. And then slowly come up into a nice standing pose. Inhale your arms up. And then exhale your hands to heart center. Now step your left foot in front of you. And so you want to angle. I'll try to mirror you. That's right. <laughs> Step your right foot in front of you. So turn your right foot out. Turn your left toes in. Send your hands on your hips and find this nice, powerful sort of posturing pose. But let the energy be of gratitude, not of pride, but just being thankful. And then bend your right leg. Make sure that the shoulders are stacked on top of the hips. And then once you feel a nice, strong base in the legs, lift your arms up for a warrior two pose. Reaching the arms out. We've been expanding our bodies, right, all day long, finding a reach. Look towards your right arm. Inhale here. As you exhale, reverse this warrior. Lift your right arm up. Left hand is down without changing the legs. Inhale, big breath. As you exhale, cartwheel the arms, plant the hands down, turn your right toes out like 45 degrees, and then bend the right leg into a nice side lunge. Deep breaths here. Exhale it out. Nice job. Come to your center. 
Hands underneath the chest, inhale, lengthen your spine any amount. And then exhale, bend the elbow, soften the knees, find your forward fold. And slowly rise and release. Lift your arms up all the way up. As your hands connect to heart center, this time turn your left toes in, right toes in, left toes out. <laughs> Thanks for understanding, you guys. Bending the left leg deep. And then sending your hands to the hips so that you can organize everything. You know, long spine, open heart, shoulders on top of the hips. And once you feel ready, Feeling strong in the legs, then lift your arms up. Look towards your left hand. Feeling this reach, relaxing the shoulders, feeling spacious in the neck any amount. And now let's reverse the warrior, right hand down, left arm up. Feeling that stretch over on the left side. A slower practice really gets us to tap into that great full energy, right? Nice to take time to do that. Inhale. As you exhale, cartwheel the arms, turn the left toes out 45 degrees, plant your hands, and find a nice side lunge over here on the left side. Keeping your spine long and your chest open the best you can. Now we're going to do a flow starting over here on the left side. So turn your left toes forward, plant your right knee down, and then inhale as you rise with the arms, extend your left leg, engage the right glute, exhale, plant the hands down. Lift your right knee off of the mat. Walk your hands over to the other side, bending that uh, right leg, drop your left knee down. As you inhale up, find the balance and the energy to lengthen the right leg. Squeeze the left glute. Exhale, plant the hands down. Lift the left knee up, walk over to the other side. Left toes point forward, right knee down. Inhale, arms up, lengthen and extend the left leg. Right glute engages, exhale, slowly lower. Lift the right knee up, walk over to the other side. You kind of know the deal, left knee down, right knee bends, inhale, extend the right leg. Exhale down. Now we're gonna do this two more times. Left knee up, and I'm not going to cue because I really want you guys to tap into this energy of feeling like you could do anything because you're surrounded by more good than bad. You have more support and love than you think. And you really have the power to harness and conjure this attitude of gratitude anytime. Take it off from your shelf of emotions. So get into your library of emotions. And when you feel like nothing is working for you, grab that book of gratitude. Read it. Shower yourself with its words and its feelings. And it will change your mood, change your attitude. One more time on this side. And then slowly plant your hands. Lift the left knee up off of the mat. Come back into your wide-legged forward fold. And this time, we're going to dangle with our legs wide. Grab elbow to elbow, or you can plant your forearms down. But let the upper body go. Soften the knees. One more breath, inhale. And then exhale. Release. Plant the hands underneath your chest. Heel toe your feet in a little wider than the mat. And then find a nice squat here, malasana squat. If you find that your heels lift off of the mat or that they have to lift off of the mat, grab something, a pillow or a blanket, and just wedge it underneath your heels. Otherwise, if you need to float your hips and plant your hands down, do so, because we're only going to spend four breaths right here. If you're doing this malasana here like I am, elbows inside the legs, pushing out, legs are pushing in, a 
bit of energy in there. And then encourage your chest to open. Look at your totem. Look at your object, your candle. And come back and land into that energy, that attitude of gratitude. I always use the word energy, and I don't use it as a perfunctory yoga term. But that's what I feel in my body when I tell myself, you can change your energy, or what energy are you feeling right now? It's like one of the most effective dialogues, at least for me. And so I hope that you can take that and use that for yourself as well. And then slowly plant the hands. Lift the hips up. Bend the legs, send your hands on top of your thighs. We've been here before. Last chance to cat-cow. Again, you can revisit that top to bottom or bottom to top sensation. Whichever direction you're going, I just want you guys to feel connected to your body. And gratitude is one way to do that. And then slowly curl the spine, rise up, lift your arms up, hands to heart center. Find the time to breathe, find the time to find a solid stance here in your feet. We are not going to have a Shavasana practice today, so if you do want to have a Shavasana, please take the time to do that. Lay on the floor on your back. Otherwise, I wanted us to end class here so sort of upright, but humble and grateful and thankful. So make a lotus with your hands so that the thumbs and the pinky fingers stay connected. And if you do have your totem or your candle or your object in front of you, open the eyes and just look at it. And with a hint of a smile, just enumerate in your brain everything that you're thankful for. And so just take a couple of deep breaths in order for us to do that. Go back to hands to heart center. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, bow down to your hands and also bow down to beings, to objects, to symbols, to events, to things, to people, to energy, and to the attitude that is gratitude. Honor that, respect that, and embrace that. Thank you so much, you guys, for sharing your practice today. I do hope I was able to just blossom a little bit more this gratefulness that we have wherever you are in your life. And from my heart to yours, namaste, namaste, namaste. I honor each and every one of you. Thank you so much for being here. Have a good rest of your day. Take care and hope to see you soon. Bye. <laughs>